All right, so now we have to go and meet some uh, Yunaka. Oh god! Hi, oh, wait. papaya. Wait, did? Oh wait, I forgot to do the arena. Oh, the arena. Yeah. You me... hired your last papaya. All right, so I wish that was one of her crit quotes. Wow, well, hi, papaya. Your last papaya. Buy a papaya. Buy a papaya. Oh god. Zappy, bro. <laughs> I am very much looking forward to Shepard just to get Makaya. Like, I love mm -hmm. her theme and, like, her post when she, like, joins you. Yep. I do wish, though, that the girls got, like, more combat poses in their reveals. Like, all the dudes, they get, like, cool, like, yeah, swing your sword. Oh, Sigurds? Pose with your weapon. <laughs> Yeah, and then girls are just like, oh, I'm going to put my arms in the air and pose. <laughs> and I'm like, no, like, show me your weapon. Like, um, Got a big-ass sword, Erica. And then show, like, use it. Well, Camilla uses her, like, axe, but, yeah. Yeah. Well, Camilla's a different story. <laughs> yeah. Like, when, when she first, like, when, like, the first, like, image they show you. Like, what? Mm -hmm. All right, so I think, let's see, who should I send into the arena? I have... Fram is about to. She's uh, actually. I think I was just sending Alfred and yeah, I'll send yeah. Alfred and uh, Fram in. I'll send Fram in twice and then Alfred in once so they can get some levels. Um, how about let's see, Louis? Oh, Louis just promoted. Yeah, okay. These are mostly the guys I'm using. And I do believe this is a chapter where you can actually start benching like a unit or two. Or you can start what? Sorry. Benching it like a unit or two. Oh yeah, I think so. Than I, look. I think after you get jumped, I have been waiting yeah, for this. Sense. Oh my god, Bro, I'm just no. skipping, I'm skipping that. Ah, oh, damn it, she's so close to getting an A support with, with Vander. All right, so this should let me pull up Yunaka. This is my chance to shine. I'll be your opponent. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Level up, hit points, speed, defense, res. Hey, nice. Would prefer some okay. strength, though. All right, and I'll just send Alfred in, and so far, no supports yet. Alfred has arrived. <laughs> Fram, 33rd oh my god, Fram. Okay, now she actually does. Oh, wait, she's using an initiative. That's oh, funny. that's why. No, that's okay. I'll win the next one. Whew, I worked up a pretty good sweat. Hit point speed, res luck, nice. You got speed. Oh my god! Any point you can up speed you can get on this boy, Absolutely. I will take. Absolutely. He needs all the speed he can get. All right, and I think actually now that I have the smithy, I was wondering, do you think we should like refine any weapons, like anything specifically? Engrave some. Yeah. I. Th we should definitely refine and engrave Alir's sword. Oh yeah, definitely. I usually start with that. And then we'll see from there. I used to do the 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 beginnings one, but I say that for a killing edge. I think I'll actually put the Sigurd. I usually put the Sigurd yeah. one. Yeah. The extra yeah, twenty. Yeah, I've been putting the Sigurd one on mine. The extra twenty boy can really help you out. I'm telling you though, revanche with the beginnings welcome, engrave welcome. on Diamant has not disappointed works. me. Really? You put the oh, I put the leaf engraving actually on that. It could be good. Oh wait, I need some iron though. Uh, I can trade um, in the silver. Or wait, can I just use a steel for that? Um, oh yeah, I have. I some mean, we can get it up to plus four, which is pretty good. Yeah, but I like to engrave it all the way. Ah. Uh, Let's see. I need iron, and how much do I get from? I think yeah. you get like ninety. Yeah, you know what? I'll actually do a silver. I have I have plenty to spare. Plus, I'm using the dogs this time around, so. Yeah, that's really good. Extra six mice. Nice. Fifteen extra hits. Five crits. Hmm. Yeah, the beginnings one gives um, hit as well, and adding hit to an axe is great. Yeah, like look at this. This is yeah. really good. Like 10 All crits, that, 10 hit, 1 my 5 avoid, and it dodge. It made the revanche even better than it already is. Because mm -hmm. it already doesn't it already come with um, crit avoid? Um, I know that Ripazai comes with dodge. Yeah, I, think... I actually put the Echoes refine on that one, and now nothing can crit anyone who uses it. Alright. 
So yeah, look, so yeah. killing edges, nope, zero percent crit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is pretty good right here. Like one extra might, twenty avoid, mm -hmm. three wait. Hmm. You know, highly recommend beginnings on revanche if we're gonna give that to uh, Diamant. Um, I'll be see. here. Are there any other actors that we're using? I don't. Let's see. Um, Rosado. Are we obviously. using Rosado? Yes. Oh. Yes, we are. I, I usually. I promise. <laughs> Yeah, I give Rosado no attune most of the time. No attune? Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty good because, um, yeah. no attune, like, no attune is, like, it will, it's so good, like, even, like, towards It's the, crazy. Like, yeah. It, like, it's, like, on par with the Silver Axe, like, even, like, mm -hmm. towards the end of the game. It's got thick stats. Uh, also, I do think there was something. Oh, oh yeah, okay. PDA has some new item, uh, outfits for us. Let's see, anything, uh, no, nothing I'm really interested in. Oh wait, what about uh, for? Oh, uh, no, we don't have like the we don't have like the dark shades yet. No. Be well. I yeah. love glasses on all ear. Oh my god, I love like the amount um, uh, the mask you can get. <laughs> all right, let's just go. Let's go and see Katara actually. Get the bond fragments. Cause I do want to like you know get some bond fragments. See, I guess we can feed it a orange. Apple. Oh. Or an orange, yeah. It likes both of them. She's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> I love this little thing, bro. Alright, and then let's just pets, and then we can you know, leave. So I do think at around this around this time, um, Kadara will start to follow us. Mm-hmm. I think so. Oh. That's just like Katara in real life. If you feed her and pet her, she loves you and she'll follow you around. Oh, that's like my cat. Oh, yep. They're off the throne. Yay! Oh my god, I love the little run. And the smile! It's so funny. God, it's just like Look a at her go. attention. <laughs> oh, do we have... No, okay. So after this chapter, I do think we also get access to the the well. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So that means we'll get the A rank lance and axe. Like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. They're so good. They are really good. I do think the axe is better than the lance, though. Yeah, I agree. I need to figure out a better um, engrave for Reprezai. Because, I mean, right now I just have the um, Echoes engrave on it because that was what I had. And it's been nice in that, like, I can send Nell over. I mean, you don't have to use it on Nell, but I can send Nell over to someone with a Killing Edge or Killer Lance, and they have zero crit against her because Reprezai comes with dodge already. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice. Oh yeah, we. Oh my god. Oh, mm. we all have all these sappers. I really don't know. Like, <laughs> we have all these sappers. Like, I'm trying to figure out like a good point when we should actually like mm -hmm. use them. I mean, I don't think we need them now, but you know. Obviously, later on, we'll, we'll be using them. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let us uh, get into Chapter 6, Mountain se Settlements. All Having right. regained the Fearnay Castle, the party heads to a shrine housing the Ring of the Dawn Maid. It sucks that you never actually go to the shrine. I know. It does. It would be cool to see it. Mm -hmm. I'm actually glad we're facing se Chapter 6, the Solomon Ring, something other than, you know, illusions or corrupted. We actually fight bandits. Mm -hmm. It's refreshing. Almost there. Like, not everything is just, just screaming at you. The, shrine. the landscape's gotten rockier. We're near Brodia. It's all mountains up there. I'm seeing fewer villages as well. Makes this a good place to hide an emblem ring, I suppose. Yeah. The closer you are to the border, the colder and quieter it gets. Look. Not a soul in sight. You're right. There's no one around. <laughs> Except her. Oh. Take a little look around. Wait for it. I wonder what she's doing here. <laughs> she's crying. Oh, well, doesn't that break the heart? I'd better help. I am her prince, after all. No, you're not. She's I from won't Bardia. stand by when my people are suffering. Alfred, wait! Oh, what a scrape I'm in! 
Hey there. Huh? What's the matter? Something I can help with? <gasps> I knew we'd startle you. Sorry for popping up out of nowhere and... Zappy! You came just in time. I'm saved. Uh... I lost something earlier and there was nobody around to help, so I got real stressed out. Oh, right. I skipped over the niceties. You can call me Yunaka. Hiya, Papaya. Uh. Hiya, Papaya? Huh. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> anyway, what Same. did you lose, Yunaka? It's a little round ring. Kind of shiny with a hole in the middle. Oh, and it talks for some reason. Come again. <laughs> I just love the zoom. <laughs> I out. love it. <laughs> and they're both like pissing. What did you just say? Yeah, I figured you wouldn't believe me. I believe you. It might be an emblem ring. Please go on. What did it say? Hmm. Well, if I remember right, it asked me to take it to the divine dragon. To me? Is that. Did you. Uh, are you saying you're the divine dragon? Yes, I am. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I'm the Divine Dragon. And now that we're doing introductions, I'm Alfred, the Prince of Firenze. Holy broccoli! Why did <laughs> I love that. that. I think I just had a heart attack. Nope, false alarm. Phew. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I never meant to impact your health. Yunaka, how did you find the ring? I was walking along the border, minding my own business, when I heard a woman's voice. Help me. I'm right here. I'm by your foot. Huh. You're quite the performer. Anyway, I picked up the ring and she said, Take me to the Divine Dragon. But at that point, I had no idea where the Divine Dragon was, so I told her I couldn't help. She knew the way, though. Told me to start heading for the capital of Firene. Oh, that's good advice. The quickest way to get to Lethos is through the capital. But on the way, I was attacked by bandits and ran off full speed. And now the ring's gone. I must have dropped it somewhere. Woe is me. Sniffle, sniffle. Oh my god. But now that you're here, you're gonna help me find it. Right? Right? <laughs> After hearing her story, this definitely sounds like an emblem ring. Probably the ring of the Dawn Maiden. But that means someone took it from the shrine. Or it could be another emblem ring. We'll just have to find it and see for ourselves. All right, Yunaka. We'll help you. Golly, that's great news. She'll be so happy if you're the one who finds her. Let's start by retracing your steps. No sign of the ring so far. Maybe somebody got to it before we did. Yeah, everyone's combing the area. If it was lying around, we would have found it by now. You're sure you didn't lose it before the bandits attacked? I had it on me when I passed through that ghost town over there. Huh? What is it? It looks like the town's overrun with bandits. What? How can you tell? I'll bet these are the same chumps who ambushed me earlier. Let's take a closer look. They've taken over the town. These are the bandits I ran into earlier. No doubt about it. And that means one of them's got... Aha! Right there. You see it? Yeah, a burly guy with something glinting in his hand. That's gotta be our missing ring. What do you think, Divine One? Is it an emblem ring? Hmm. He's too far. I really can't say. You must have great eyesight, Yunaka. Yeah, I have the killer's eyes. What was that? Killer eyes! I've got killer eyes! You know, they're great at seeing stuff. If you ever need something looked at real good, I'm your gal! <laughs> anyway, what's the plan now? We've got two problems that need solving. A stolen ring and a town full of bandits. The ring's our first priority, but we can't leave them unchecked. We'll only attract attention if we all charge in at once. I say we split up. You know, send in a small group to recover the ring. Nice and stealthy. All right. Okay then. Come on, divine one. You're with me. I do like this chapter. It, yeah, I do like this chapter too. It's fun. Mm -hmm. For once, a fog of war chapter is actually like fun. You yeah. know. It's a good introduction to fog of war as well. Mm -hmm. 
Oh wait, can I actually bring it? Okey If we go through here, I bet we can sneak up on that guy with the ring. Slipping through a side passage. Smart thinking, Yunaka. Yeah, and I also do like how your um, uh, lord is like separated from like you know the rest of your party. Mm -hmm. And uh, wait, can I bring him there? I feel like I'm missing someone. Oh, Bushra. Uh, mm. I think I'll actually. I do want Bushra. I think you know what? Ete can sit this one out. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think there's any flyers on this map, last I remember. I'm positive I don't think so. Are like, I'm pretty sure we can handle them. Um. Maybe we can get that uh, all axe actually. And I do want, and yeah, I'll bring Jean for as long as I have like an extra like slot. Like an extra heal, I'm not gonna say no to that. Though once Celine like promotes, I do think I'll actually drop him. I do wonder who will be my first promotion though. And I do wanna buy an extra like staff for Fram and mm -hmm. Jean while I have the, the opportunity. Should've done this in the base. <laughs> Ooh, uh, the Illum... Do you think the Illum Staff or Torch is worth it, like, for 504? I never use them. <laughs> okay. I do think I'll actually buy one just to be on the safe side, like... Just in case. Because, mm -hmm. like, I just, like, Torch... Like, the Illum Staff would be good if it was, like, past, like, you know, games, but it's like how it is in Fire Emblem 6. You have to use it on your units. Mm-hmm. I think this formation is pretty good. Oh yeah, let's talk about Yunaka while we actually have the chance. Plus, I want to do it while we have this like, while we have the battle preparation music. So yeah, here's Yunaka. Um, Yunaka is um, she's uh your first thief. You get she's a cover unit. So, and I have to say though, I think that she's pretty good early game. Um, she has good like um she actually has pretty good strength for a thief, and she also has uh, pretty good speed and dex, and 50 res too. Like that's really insane for a thief. Um, she goes through the person skill, which is, um, uh, Train to Kill, which is just really good when you combo it up with other, like, terrain skills, like, um, mm -hmm. Surprise Attack from Krom. And, yeah, um, it's really good. And, yeah, like, if you forge a dagger, like, she's gonna be really, like, doing a lot of damage. The problem that I have with Yunaka is that she can't, has, in the past, gotten terrain scoot for me. And I also think that, yeah, she's, she could be good to train, but Zelkov's right over there, and... I just, I just think Zelkov's better than Yunaka in like every way. Like, yeah, if you train Yunaka, she might be better than him, but Zelkov isn't far behind. So, I just find that it isn't worth like using her sometimes. And I just think that yeah, like her skill is better than Zelkov's, but again, like Zelkov's like he has way better base stats than Yunaka. Like, and he's closer to getting past than her. Like, it's gonna take Yunaka forever to get past as a thief. For Zokov, he's pretty close to getting it. Um, I do think Yunaka is like a fun like unit to use. I just think that using her is kind of like um training Roy in FE6. It's kind of a chore. She isn't bad like Roy, but it's like it's just hard to train like thieves in this game. And Yunaka is very hard to train considering her starting level and Yeah. Her stats and skills are pretty good. Growth things are pretty good as well, but I do think Zelikov is just a better thing. I think I'll rate her 3 out of 5 stars because, again, it's like, it's not that she's like bad, it's just that it's hard to train her and it takes forever for her to get past. Yeah, um, for me, mine gets strength screwed pretty much every time I try to use her. Um, even though she has a good growth rate, especially for mm -hmm. a thief. Yeah. Um, the thing is she, if you combo her with Corrin Spring, then she gets Vein of Fog, and then she can create her own fog, which gives her a void, plus the covert bonus, plus her passive. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that her void gets too high. And yeah. on Maddening, as we've said like 15 times before, enemies won't attack you if they have 0% chance of hitting you. But look at this, she starts, out a, up. she starts out on a thick and her voice already 88. Like, no one's gonna yeah. target her. Right. If they have 0% chance to hit her, they are not going to try to attack her. Unless, um, like, the there's chain attacks involved. Yeah, unless there's chain attacks. Um, on normal and hard, though, they will still target her if they have zero hit, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Um... I imagine she would be like a six out of five unit on those difficulties, but um, 
Yeah, no, I just... And she always, for me, she always gets unlucky, too. She always get hit, gets hit by, like, 18s and stuff like that. Well, that's, I think, <laughs> ma that's... Uh, that's an RNG so. thing, though. That's yeah. not her. But. It's kind of weird that she, like, she performs worse than Zelkov in terms of strength, because they both have the same strength. I think it's mm -hmm. just that Zelkov has a better strength stat at the start, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, so yeah, I've tried using her. She's been a good avoid or a good dodge tank when enemies actually target her. Um, Zelkov is also good, um, but most recently um, I tried Marin, and yeah, she's my deck gear user now. Mm -hmm. But I will give you Naka 4 out of 5 because she is good at what she does, and that's dodging. Mm -hmm. And I'll probably feel it for as long as I have a set. Plus, like, thieves with daggers are pretty good because of how, like, poison works in this game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I, if you give her dagger the Micaiah engrave too, she gets even more avoid, and it's crazy. Yeah, but isn't like her mic gonna be so like? Yeah, bad? that's the problem. <laughs> that's the trade off. It's pitch black out here. And it's gonna be really fun for me because I'm using both um, uh, Zelkov and Marin this round actually. Don't worry, divine one. It's gonna be that's fun. That's what I'm here for. Wow, thank you for seeing like two extra spaces ahead of me. My eyesight's so sharp, I can spot baddies even when it's dark or foggy. See, I don't think that really helps, because it's not that much farther. I don't think thieves have increased mm -hmm. vision in this game. Till you get your hands on a torch, at least. Then you'll see a I think it's just because here. now that she's actually like a playable unit, that's why the sight increased. There he is! Yeah, that's why. Let's take him by surprise. Good idea. Oh yeah, I love this Please, conversation. Please, take me <laughs> to the Divine Dragon. <laughs> This looks pretty pricey. This will net me a nice lump of gold. The boss doesn't need to know about it. <laughs> oh dear. That's how I laugh, bro. Me, can you? <laughs> the standard brigand lab. I hear her. Just, That's the voice uh, from before. <laughs> That's definitely an emblem ring. Yunaka, will you help me get it back? Of course, you weirdo. That's why we're here. <laughs> right. Well, thank you. You know. Now that I hear her, your impression was incredibly accurate. <laughs> Stop! You're gonna make me blush. I love her support conversation with Sira, where she like imitates like Ivy. <laughs> it's oh, I so haven't hilarious. seen that. All right. Oh. Yeah, Laura Post is her voice actress, so yeah, everybody who knows voice acting knows that Laura Post has some crazy range. Mm -hmm. She can voice anything. All right, don't crit you, Naka, and please don't. <laughs> so where did you come from? <laughs> Dodge it. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Luckily, she does have an antitoxin or bone rays on this on her. All right. Oh wait, what? Do I not kill this guy? No, you have to attack him with a leer first. Oh wait, what? And then get the the attack bonus on you, Naka. Oh god. Oh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh. Well, uh... I'm sure we'll be fine. You called? Uh, you gotta be careful because there's another, like, sword fire over here, if you believe, in the shells. That I think has an armor slayer. This guy has a hammer, so he's gonna wreck Louie. And... Alright, yeah, I'll just have, um... I do think this is some sort of guy... Does he... Oh no, he doesn't know damage to Vander, actually. Okay, that's fine. Um, I do want to get, um, you do need to be careful on this left side, because there's, there's a longbow guy that mm -hmm. can actually, um, if you're unlucky, he can actually, like, hit your guys, and because he's a cover unit, he will, like, take advantage of these thickets. Yeah, Understood. that's the annoying part for me. Mm -hmm. So you might, you want to get your units in the thickets before he can. Oh, okay. Uh, this guy does drop a torch. Alright, well, I guess I'll just Let's go. blow it in. Oh, I still have the goddamn energy drop. I forgot to put that in the corner. Me, right? And I guess I'll get yes. some, like, experience on Jean with the heirloom stuff. I do like the design of the heirloom stuff. It's mm -hmm. like, it's just, literally just a torch, like, a lantern. Yeah, it's cute. It. What's next? 
Alright, and I do like to like, camp the starting area because, you know, it's Five of Warp, so... Oh yeah, this covers Looks this. like we got us some uninvited guests. Snuff the lights, you lot! You got it! A friggin' thief. I just love this. Or a friggin' mage. Uh... Oh, nice! Okay. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I was worried she went dodgy. But... My treasure! <laughs> We got the ring. Heal us, emblem of dawn. Oh my! The theme. I love this music. I love this theme. An echo of day. A, a remix of Echoes of Daybreak. I am emblem huh? Nakaya. That the theme that no, that's that's a bearer of hope. Now, oh, it is. Lies ahead. <laughs> oh. Ah, so it is the ring of the dawn maiden, Yunaka. I entrust this ring to you. Me, uh, but I. She belongs with you. All I ask is that in return you help us defeat these bandits. Will you join with Emblem Makaya? Yeah. Okay. I won't let you down. I really thought when I the first time I played this game that Yunaka was gonna be evil. Well, I mean she has an evil past, but she's not Yeah, but like I thought she was like someone sent to kill the Divine Dragon or something. Or to infiltrate and get uh intel or something. And she doesn't die the killer's eyes. Yeah. And then she acts all the and now she's like, Oh, you wanna give the ring to me? Yeah. I'll take it. Oh, oh, it's an archer. Okay. I thought there was an armor snare guy over there. Looks like our cover's blown. They're snuffing the torches. Don't sweat it. And relight them as we go. Yeah, a cold nod to Radiant Dawn. I do like that. Mm -hmm. That you can just relight them like you did Radiant Dawn. So, um, yeah. Yunaka, the reason why she comes with that men's stop is because, um, we're not going to talk about Makai here, but now she has, she comes with Cleric, which, yeah. It sucks that you can't hear that, but... We'll talk about that, obviously, when we get back to the sun, yeah. Luckily, um, yeah, I don't feel bad about, um, uh, you know, putting Roxy out here, because most of the enemies that face here are just, um, you know, one-range enemies. Mm -hmm. Yunaka, let me show you how to use staves. And what's so good about Yunaka is that she can actually, um, poison the enemies, and then Roxy can do more damage to finish them off. God damn, why are these guys getting... Leaves in the way of the animation. <laughs> All right, and um, oh, there's like only three units I'm using on this side, or four actually. Hey, clan level up. He's now level three. Oh, cool. Strength, Dex, Luck, Build. Damn. I'm getting hungry. Girl, me too. Oh, nice. Okay, good job. I'm sorry. Alright, thank you for the torch. And I will heal up Chloe. Oh wait, I no, I should be using frame to do this, huh? For the divine dragon! Okay, I'll take it. Okay. At least she at least she didn't squeal. At least for the love of God she didn't squeal. Thank you. I swear she blows up my eardrums every time she does that. Alright, Bander. Oh, nice job. I will defend always. Hey, oh, hammer. Thank you. I don't think there are any armor knights in this chapter, though. That's useful for the next chapter, though. Uh, oh, my God. Louie, nice. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be all Chris's longbow for the Tiki Parallel. We'll get through this. Okay, I do want to heal up. Uh, oh, if I put. Mm, nah, I'm not going to put that there. In me. And also, yeah, you got to be careful because there is a Thunder yeah, it's Mage a thunder here. Thunder Mage. Yeah. 
If we had Etier, she could use the Wombo to take him out, but no. No, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so this uh, turn should be all right. Oh yeah, uh, oh wait, he's going for Alfred. Okay, nice, I dodged. And oh my God, nice job sailing. This guy go for Mandarin? I wonder. Ow. Oh, nice! Oh. oh, yeah, Crystal, did you know that um, Alir actually has five throw quotes compared to everyone else's four? Oh, really? Yeah. I never noticed. Hmm. Uh, okay, you're going for Louis. Oh! Oh my Damn. god. Good job, guys. Oh wait, what? I thought that he... I thought he wasn't going to do any damage to me. Did I miss... Oh wait, no, that was because of Fram's um, of fortified defense. That's why. No, I don't need the time crystal. My resolve is unchanged. Alright, well, what I can do is I can weaken this guy with, um, Bander and then Sammy. Mm -hmm. can... Commander, please head. Thank you. Hey, thanks. I feel like with the retainers, that their skills would be so much better if they were within two spaces of yeah, the Divine like, Dragon. There's a lot of these skills in this game that have, where you have to be adjacent to people. It's like, mm -hmm. seriously, the map, like, seriously, you're already lowering my move, can you not make these, like, two spaces? Yes. Exactly. Plus, this game seems more in common with heroes, so can we not have it even be more in common with heroes? Right. Adieu. Adieu. Damn, I don't know if you heard that, but that was my stomach. I oh, know, I oh. didn't hear anything. <laughs> okay, good. It was really bad. Seriously, I'm worried that when you hear my stomach. <laughs> My stomach sounds like thunder, bro. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm not even joking. When I was a freshman in high school, uh, there was I was in my math class. It was Algebra 2 Honors, right? And I guess there was this hey, girl thanks. that she wasn't from around like where we went to high school. She was, she was from some other state that didn't really see a lot of severe Whatever storms. Mm -hmm. And so... It was like a cloudy day and it was raining and I guess she was kind of freaked out and my stomach let out this big old growl and I just hear her go to her, she like leaned over to her friend and she goes, was that thunder? <laughs> and I was like mortified. I was like, bro, what the stop it. Oh, okay, so starting to move. Oh my god, jeez. Just a scratch. Alright, well, I guess I'll heal up, um, Roxy and then. Kind of you. Alright, so. Alright, yeah, I do love how, like, you can literally equip Makai to anywhere. You can just heal up. Yep, I love that. And. Nice! Oh, female brigand, actually. That was a yell. And this is a good opportunity to train Roxy. If I oh. say that, <laughs> she gets to be get strength. Seriously. Oh boy. Oh my god. That's why I was contemplating whether or not to give that energy drop to either a Roxy yeah. or Elkris. I do have two though. Yeah, one of each, bro. Yeah, because they're gonna need it. They yes, they're the ones who need it the most. Yeah. We fight for peace. We fight for peace. This is what I trained for. Alright, level 7. Unyielding. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Alright, I do need to be careful because that Thunder Mage is on the move and there is also a, you know, um, uh, thief moving in. I'm pretty sure those the thieves on this map can double most of your guys. Like, let me just take a look. Um, yeah, 13 speed. Yeah, be careful. I do like how most of the uh, daggers in this game are like, they're from past games actually, like the card, 
the stiletto, yeah. the pesh cats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really liked that. I thought that was a nice touch. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah. Ow. It sucks though that the pesh cats isn't like. I think it's the best, like. One range dagger. Damn. Ow. Oh, no, that was a dagger you could get. You know? Yeah, I'm gonna get close to Alright. Yeah, it was a good thing that I moved back. Oh god, Jesus, there's a lot moving in now. Our foes are strong. No, you're just weak. <laughs> Dream well. No, do not engage. That helps. All right, and nope, that's Vander. How does Sailing do against these guys? Oh, I like, just thought it was. Oh wow. Jeez. Oh come on. Oh wait, wait, Vander. Oh. Vander has four attack. Uh, but what were you saying? Oh, I always thought it was cute that Makai gets come to him. <laughs> Bro. But yeah, that Micaiah comes with a thief. I thought that was like a nice little detail. Yeah, because, you know, Soth and all that. That's so, actually really yeah. cool. I didn't think about that. Mm hmm. Well, it made more sense if it was like a male thief, though, but I can understand. Right. You were beautiful while you lasted. Hold steady. Whenever he says whole steady, I always think he says whole steady. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, and I guess I'll just heal Bander and then Jog and heal Balfred. I think. I do not trust these shadows one bit. Because mm -mm. the enemies, like, either. they always feel like that they're, like, closer than you think. I know that's what that's the case with Fog of War, but it's even more prevalent in this game. I'm back in action! <laughs> oh my god. I'm back that's in action! That's why I love Alfred. He's such a little nerd, man. Oh my god. Once again, Boucheron's like doing nothing this way. Ow. This oh now. my god, the crits in this oh. episode. Here goes. Man, good thing I forged a sword up. Hell yeah. Good point. Otherwise, I'm gonna be struggling. Mm -hmm. There we go. Just a poison. Oh wow, she can. Oh okay. Wow. Never mind. I didn't realize her. She could view that far. Damn. All right. She's got a killer's eyes, bro. I, wait. I thought she had killer eyes. <laughs> Oh, see, that's what. Oh my god, you got. Oh no, and he's on a th goddamn thicket. Okay, so. But he's got a card, though, so he's gonna move into one range. Okay. Self improver. Um. I guess what I can do is like. Oh, wait, I can chain guard them, actually. Yeah, this is why it's really cool to have two key attacks, because you can chain guard and then you can just heal them back up. Yeah, and the boss of this chapter you have to be careful of because he will like move off his um, uh, protection tile and also he's very he scary hurts, bro. with his like hand axe. Like he makes the last boss with a joke. Hang in there. Oh my oh, out, Alfred bro. again? Oh, oh. Dude, come on. Ow! Oh my god. 
Dream well. Um, oh, jeez. Okay, good. <laughs> I got scared there for a second. Okay, yeah, I think it, you know what? I'm gonna have to pop my great sacrifice. I think this would be a prime time to use it. Emblem, engage. Oh yeah, actually. Is this Emblem, engage. Wait, what is she? With my magic, hmm? you may illuminate even the darkest of places. Yeah, you can actually do that with Shy in this game, which is really weird. Oh. I want to hear what she says when you. Um, what's her unique quote? She goes, "Quick change." Quick change. <laughs> <laughs> By any means necessary. Oh wow. Yeah, I love how Yunaka says her engage quotes. Oh my god. XP right there. Oh wow, she actually got strength. Alright, and then uh let's see. Uh oh wait. Oh wait, no, it's Kia that's a heal stats. Thieves don't do that. Alright. So the so he's still poisoned. Damn. Mm -hmm. I do like that, how Kia Depths just cure like that. Serves you right. Yeah, I like how they balanced out like the shit the armored, weapons the with armored extreme units, support capabilities. The armored units for it are so bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's so bad when armored give. Yeah, oh my god, okay. I really want a forge of a girl really. Oh my god, Jesus. Uh how do I oh my Okay, uh Eh, it is a thief, so I shouldn't be expected sailing to be doubling. Oh, level up. She's now level hmm, up. Nice. nice. Oh, one more level and she, we can promote her. Oh my god. Oh, wow. I got She's going to be so good when she gets Ignis. And I do not break that guy. Okay. Uh, I think I need to send him to Vander. Uh, oh, wait. Um, uh, oh, 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 no. I mean, he does no damage, but still. Uh, 10% crits. Oh yeah, do you when you use a thief like or a dagger user, do you primarily use the one to two range daggers or do you go for the one range? I use the one to two range daggers most of the time, okay. unless they're facing an archer. Yeah, I don't Or really... like someone who's broken. Yeah, I don't really use the one range daggers because they just like I feel like they just can never get the job done. Yeah, no. Usually when I'm using a thief, it's because like, when I attack with a thief, I don't want them to get hit. <laughs> So most of the enemies in this game are in one range. Oh my gosh. That's why like I only use it if they're really weak one range mm -hmm. or if they're an archer. Alright, well, thank god this guy does one damage to Louis at least. Oh come on, are you oh. serious? Wait, what the wait, oh that's weird. The guy like moved out of the way. Okay. There's work to do. Yeah, I know that. Alright, well, I'll just heal her up with the bullet, alright? And let me- oh! Oh! Uh, she should Lovely. be fine. She should be yeah, fine. She's, she has- she's on a- She's naked. covert. I am worried that they might chain attack her, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Alright, let me use that bullet to get rid of the poison. Oh yeah, um, so yeah, I should probably actually talk about poison. So how poison works in this game is that instead of it doing damage over time, it will actually increase the damage you take. And, it, and for every time you get hit with like a dagger or get hit with like a poison effect, it will go up by one or like 10%. And the max it can do is 40% extra damage. Um, Krista, what are your thoughts on how poison works in this game? It's interesting. I just, I never find that it works for me, but it always works for the enemies. Uh -huh. Um, it's, it's one of those mechanics where it's like, yeah, like in theory it could benefit me except that enemies don't live very long. Yeah, the problem that I have with it is that I think it's a really cool concept and it's be the best poison effect we've seen in a long time. Mm -hmm.
But the problem that I have with it is that it's you and the enemy because they have they if they have like a lot of thieves, they're expendable, and I only have like one or two thieves. Exactly. And it's very hard. Like like seriously, if they're like five thieves coming at me, and they do like minuscule yeah. damage, but the damage is going to keep going up and up as the more and more exactly. they attack me. So it's really annoying. Yeah. It's it's nice for bosses when you can apply it. Um, but even then, like. You can give any unit Draconic Hex from Corrin, oh. and it does better, in my opinion. Uh, God, I cannot wait to rate the skill inheritance I know. of Corrin. But, it's interesting. Um, I... Hmm, I don't know, I... Every poison effect, I like in a different way. Like, in Radiant Dawn, and... Well, I guess, in Tellius, poison can actually kill you. Uh-huh. And I think that's interesting. Well, poison uh -huh. can carry in the GBA games, too. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I always found always. that it, like, causes me more trouble in the Tellius games. Also because you don't always know if it's going to do one or three. Yeah. Um, sometimes the damage varies. But I like how it is in Fates, too, because it can't kill you, but it does more damage. Um, I don't know. I think this is interesting. I think... If they had done this in Fates, it would have made more sense if Shurikens could poison. Because Kaze's like, oh yeah, they'll sap your strength over time. Yeah, I do like the um, dagger effects in Fates. I wish they were, yeah, they yeah. were bring order. them back. I mean, they kind of do bring them back in a way. Yeah, I, I like the dagger effects. Um, that's why I like Draconic Hex so much on dagger units, I guess. Yeah, because in a way, you're... like that, and it's like that with a canter and mountain units. Like I expect it to be there. Time to oh, nice! Hey. Oh, I love the one range like cover on units, over like daggers, where they like it's like the it's like the ninja like animation. Yeah, form. it's really cool. All staff mastery. I love staff mastery. Mm -hmm. I don't think the boss can reach us from here. But I hope not. For me, he usually comes out from um, the little alleyway between the yeah, two buildings. Yeah, he comes out from left. here. Yeah. I don't think he. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Uh, I hope he doesn't attack Roxy. I'll be fine. Alright, Saline, I think she can- yep, there we go. Nice. Hey, this it. is where Resonance it's is actually time. good. Oh, <laughs> it's tea time. You were beautiful while you lasted. Oh my god, Saline. Hey, favorite food, nice. Oh my god, I gotta get an anti on Alfred, Jesus. Hey, thanks. Hey, Jean's first level. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, pretty good. I do miss just standard aptitude, though, I have to say. Yeah, I, I both like and don't like that expertise doubles class bonuses. Because, like, it doesn't give John. Observe your ruin! Like, oh, a, oh, damn. 69. So Doesn't give John is. like an identity if that makes sense. Yeah, like I you do, know, like he. I mean, in a way, you kind of have aptitude in this game from Tiki, mm -hmm. which I think is just stupid. Yeah. Because of what you can do with that skill. I also just hate that like expertise is his personal That's skill. Good fortune. Where like. It would be cooler if he had like a healing bonus or a fist damage bonus or something like that. Well, they because have to he make comes that as a martial skill. monk. Because if it's a skill that they can learn, then. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe if he was like in an exclusive class that was like exclusive to him and it was a level mm -hmm. 5 skill, then maybe. I would like. I would just prefer that like his growth rates were really high. Yeah. Guided by the like, animals. You can't do that. Like, Donald's growth rates were high even without aptitude. Oh, you're mm -hmm. right. Okay, he doesn't actually show up here. I do think he's like he's hiding in those bushes somewhere. I just know it. 
Let me see. Ten. Okay, actually. Um, let me see. Do I have another? Like, do I not have another Goldenry? Okay. I guess I need to go shopping for Goldenrys after this chapter. Right, I, do I need... literally, I refuse to buy Vulneraries. <laughs> Seriously? I always have Wait, so oh my many God. spare. This yeah. pisses me off so much. I can't light it even though I don't see it. Yeah. It's so stupid. Like seriously, it, it pisses me off in the Gris chapter especially. Like seriously, you tell me you can't see that far ahead? Like it's right in front of you. Yeah. The <laughs> a like, Gris chapter where he's like, let's play hide and seek, and then half the time he's like, right by you. Yeah, oh my god. We have, me and Alex, she started yeah, the opening of that chapter like seven times, because he was like, right next to us. Mm -hmm. I love Gris, man. <laughs> like, I he's so me, interesting. <laughs> I always thought there was going to be like, Reeve from like, you know, Sacred Sons, but he's not actually. No. No, he's actually just... Himself. A masochist. That, yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Oh god, I'm so scared of that freak. I know he's hiding in there. Actually, Gris's voice actor is phenomenal. Oh yeah, he, he's kind of <laughs> like... That's what actually, that's what actually oh. made me like Gris. Because like at first I was like, oh, this dude's annoying, right? Like, oh, great, we have another masochist in a Fire Emblem game. Right? But another one? What are you talking about? Well, I guess Niles was a sadist, not a masochist. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I was like, great. Yeah, but he, Another was one, level, he wasn't like Gris level. Though. No. I'm like, I just found Niles like creepy. So I was like, oh, great. This is oh, probably creepy. There he is. Then heard his voice actor and I was like, oh. <laughs> now I get oh. it. I see. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, okay, sir. I hear My you. Apologies. All right, Louis. Well, Louis has uh, 20 defense, so okay, he's only gonna do. Oh, nice! Since he got that point of speed, he doesn't get doubled anymore. Oh, boss. nice! So he's only gonna take eight damage. Very cool. <laughs> Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. Uh, <laughs> I keep saying very cool. I don't know why. I don't know where I got that from. It's just like, oh, very cool. Alright, I'm gonna need to move in by to my ears, because this boss is very hard to take down, I find. Though, my ears have actually gotten some pretty good levels this fight through. Mm -hmm. Like, Saline, Alfred. They've been pretty good, knock on wood. Good. A little late to be saving the day. We killed off the villagers ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this guy- oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know there was a dude there. Yeah, I knew there was- I thought there was a mage around here. Alright, uh, well, um, if I can weaken it- You're not here! Uh, okay, oh wait, no, 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 wait, please don't press. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that should be enough, actually. Yep, there we go. Well. Please get strength. Thank you. Oh my. Oh, oh okay. wow. Good. I got 10 double digit strength. I have never seen this on Roxy this early. Usually it's until she gets like level 10 that she gets. You just gotta oh. believe, man. Double digit strength. Gotta believe. Right. Oh my. Oh. Yeah, this is where resonance is a problem. Yep. Okay. Um. Alfred, how do you do? And yeah, this is why poison oh. really hurts him. God, do I not have an anti cast on anyone? No, we haven't gotten any yet. Uh, no, you not get him with one, but I'm gonna have to wait for it to get yeah, over. Yeah, that's the only one we got. I don't think I could have bought any. Oh, there's the there's the main. Oh, there's the, oh. Uh. Okay, he can't reach me oh. this turn. He only has a fire pump. He doesn't double Louis. He won't double, yeah. Alright. Oh, 
Okay, I can't move really out of here. Yeah, and this guy can one shot your Tia Deaths, just saying. Others must need you as well. <laughs> you, you no, have, just uh... you, Chief. Wait, can I one shot it? No, wait, damn it. That always I know, that's where the screen gets misleading in yeah, UI. Know. It's like, oh, 24 damage, perfect. No, it's 12 times 2. Yeah, because you always look at the unit first. You don't actually see, like, the bottom four, like, I didn't the even arrows. know that the arrows had the damage over it until I was, like, 30 hours into the game. I just never noticed it, because I'm always looking at the display, not yeah. decorative arrows, mm -hmm. you know? And plus, if you're going to do it that way, at least say times 2. <laughs> Like how right. you did past games. Yeah, just say 12 times 2 instead of 24. Like, it's not that hard, bro. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess I'll get this thing. Not good. Um. This guy is gonna be really weird to take on. Um, Bander, how does he do? Uh, he gets that. Oh okay. my god. Sir. If I don't use the hand axe, he doesn't, but the thing is, like, I don't know what to Okay, well, what I can well, do- Well, that sailing can- Oh, come on! Oh my god. I hate that so much. That is my Louie experience. Oh god, this is- Okay, I think... No, I... Oh my god. If I'm gonna... If that's gonna happen, I think I'm just gonna move on, actually. And what I'll do is I'll focus on healing him up and then just use Shake for it. Uh, I feel great. Uh, how much damage does he do to the... Um... Let's see, 6... 22, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this guy is hard to kill. Crazy, scary. <laughs> hey, nice. Okay, good job, Claire. Oh, wait, I should have equipped the javelin. Ugh. God. I do wonder how you would do this chapter if you did not have the weight. I'm still quite capable. I don't remember how I've done it. Alright, I think this is where we're gonna have to open it. Won't you join me? And we'll engage. And let's see, override, freelance. Yeah, that is a good tip. One strike will decide it all. And oh wait, I can't retreat through it. Thank you. Okay, and Saline can get the kill, I think? Or she can at least, like, damage him. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I think I know what I'll do. What I'll do is I'll... I can... Yeah, okay, I got this, yeah. I fly around, I kill the mage, and I damage him with some, uh... I take down his first HP while I would save him. Simple enough. Sacrifice. Damn, you get so much from that. I'm so giving Micaiah to all my friends. Mm hmm. I agree. Uh, yeah, I'll just use that here. Yeah. Gosh, she's so close. It sucks that you don't get your first Master Seal here. What? Can Fram live? Hmm? Oh, wait. Oh, crap. 28 minus 8. Yeah, she can actually. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. I'm so Plus, she has rock. I was like, oh. Uh, huh. Yeah, oh, my God. I cannot believe I didn't notice this. 
Oh, she goes for Saley anyway, and she dodges. All right, nice. Oh my god. It's probably because he detects a kill. Because he can one-shot them. Saley. If I hear her up to full weight. Wait, so he just... just warp Ragnarok's ass. Oh wait, what? yeah. Oh my god, why? I cannot believe this. Please grant me your strength. Emblem Age. Alright, let me. I, if I'm gonna do that, let me get the last bit of experience I can. Yeah, might as well. No, no, but it's true. And. Yep, there we go. My apologies. I love that. My apologies. Yeah, I do like how they voice like the lines from the characters, like mm -hmm. from heroes and their that. actual games. You think mm -hmm. this is justice, huh? <laughs> eh, I don't want. Hey, level nine. Okay. Sort of pushy, even though Salient already comes with this. Oh my god, okay, I kind of give it up on guessing the MVP. Alright, so now we have to see the outro. That's the last of the bandits. You've been a huge help, Yunaka. If not for you, we'd be scratching our heads in an empty shrine right about now. I can't thank you enough. It was nothing, really. I wonder who took it from the shrine in the first place. It must have been those bandits, right? Uh, well... What's the matter? I have a... uh... confession. The thing is, I didn't find the ring. I stole it. Huh? I was strapped for money, and when I saw the shrine, I figured it might have valuables. I went inside, heard Micaiah's voice, and... Pow! There's the ring, staring right at me. I was just looking to make a quick bundle of dough. I I'm sorry. I see. When I learned that you two were royalty, I panicked and... Kinda... well... Wide. Really, I'm no different from those bandits. I'll accept whatever punishment you give me. Hold on. You were planning to sell the ring? Yeah. Well then... Why didn't you? You could have run for the hills as soon as the Divine Dragon handed it to you. We're useless in the dark. Would have been easy to give us the slip. But instead, you stuck around and risked your neck for us. Why? Well, because of Micaiah. When she started talking to me, I got this feeling that I just couldn't shake. I felt like... like I had to help her get to the Divine Dragon. Yunaka has shown me nothing but kindness. Fighting by her side, I saw a bright path ahead. When I sensed Sombron's return, I called out in the dark. It was she who answered. I am to blame for entangling her in all this. Yunaka has done nothing wrong. I hear you, but she did lie to us. As Prince, I'm not supposed to let that go without some sort of punishment. Lay it on me. I can handle it. How about joining our forces? Say, what now? We're on a journey to collect the emblem rings and defeat the Fell Dragon. I know it's a lot to ask, but will you pledge yourself to our cause? What do you think, Alfred? A fitting punishment? <laughs> I love it. Our army is pretty lean, so adding a new recruit makes a lot of sense. And Yunaka clearly has raw talent. She could be a real asset. I won't let you down. Thank you. Both of you. Don't mention it. And Yunaka, allow okay. me to be the first Oh my god. Hiya, Papaya. Mm. Uh... <laughs> Hiya, Papaya! Yeah. Back at ya, Divine One! With that settled, let's hurry onward. We've got to cross into Brodia, right? Yes. Mother sent a letter to the Brodian King when we left the castle. He should be expecting us. Good. The Kingdom of Might. I'm curious to see what it's like there. Oh, you're gonna be one of the best units there. 
Hell yeah, you are. <laughs> yep, all Chris. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> For sure. Alright, oh wow, there's not a lot of drop holes around here. Alright. See, we got ourselves 40 iron ingots. Okay, nice. And. Let's see, 150 bond fragments. Uh, let's see, what animals do we have around here? Uh, we have a pigeon. No, thank you. A cat. Yeah, I have to bring the cat back with me. <laughs> yeah, let's see, what do we have over here? We have ourselves a... Oh, another dog. Nice. It's a black one, too. Nice. Bark, bark. All right. Woof, woof. Let's get out of here. 550 bond fragments. Nice. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I didn't know what's about to happen. Huh? Is that... Hey! Hmm? You're the girl I met in Flora Milltown. Vale, wasn't it? Oh! What a coincidence finding you here! I'm glad to see you again. You left so abruptly last time, it really caught me off guard. Do you live around here? No, I'm just passing through. Well, looking for someone, really. Who are you looking for? A person I must talk to again no matter what. My sibling. You were separated then. I'm sorry. It's painful to be apart from one's family. Do you have any idea where to look? None. I don't even know what face to look for. We've been apart since I was very young. But they did give me something long ago. This. Wow, that doesn't like an evil. It's my good luck charm. I know that as long as I have this, we'll be reunited someday. Yeah, totally I'm looks sure you will. harmless. But don't forget to take care of yourself. Look, your leg's wounded. Oh, God. This kind of thing happens all the time. Stop. It looks the pretty feet. deep. Stop showing a there. CG of her that feet. That hold for a while. Intelligence Systems clearly has some unique taste. Thank you. I know. You're quite kind to help a complete stranger like me. You're not a stranger. You saved my, my life from that makes sense as far as I'm concerned. And friends help each other. Friends? Hmm. Should I not have said that? No, no. I'm just so happy to have someone I can call a friend. It's like a dream. I can't recall the last time I was treated with such kindness. What do you mean by that? I'm sorry, but I have to go. Are you sure? Thank you for the bandage. Hope to see you again. You will. There she goes. See you around, Vale. It's so weird how she's able to get into, like, illusion without anyone, like, stopping her or spawning her. Right. Like, it's like we... she's just... I guess she's okay. alone, but it's just that, like, it just feels weird. Mm -hmm. All right, now we can only met the weapons range. The cafe Terrence is open for dining. We can access the record hall. And something has been found. Look at Ridge. Ooh, nice. Oh, 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 nice. Let's go and, oh, let's go and talk to Durthan. Durthan. I don't know. Sure thing, dude. All right, the ancient well. Oh, yes. Finally. Hell yeah. I just love how it always like glows too. I know, I love that. The red plastics and the revanche axe. And now we have to go back to the armory. I do think you can use this once you discover the weapon as well. Like you can start putting stuff into it. Mm hmm. This here. Well, that's because it's not of this world, dude. Yeah. It's kind of weird though how they give these weapons to you yet before like 
like this was before the Fel Xenolock was released. I always thought mm -hmm. that was weird. Alright, so yeah, we have the revanche, so I think yeah, so Vander's the only one who can will the will the revanche. The reprisal, I don't think anyone can actually will that yet. So you want to give the revanche the um the beginnings refinement? Mm-hmm. So yeah. And then Slap that on Diamant and call it a day. Well, we don't have. Well, Diamant's not gonna be able to promote yet. Yeah, and, not for a little while. But, but you, but because I don't. I mean, I usually give the beginnings to a killing edge, but we can hmm. put it on the revanche for now. Yeah, Is mine literally has. Um, mine has better crit than a killing edge. Yeah. Oh my god! God damn it! These things take mm -hmm. so many materials. You see, engrave the revanche. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Like, mm -hmm. damn. It, it hits it helps out the hit rate, actually. Yeah, it's really nice. 400. And then what about the reprisal? Like, do you have, like, uh, any engravings for that? I don't know. I Like I said, I just threw echoes on it for the extra dodge, but... That's not bad, I, actually. Yeah, I could, see, I could see Makaya's being really good, actually. Yeah, the might's already high enough, and the avoid, I'll mm -hmm. take that. Plus, an extra, mm -hmm. like, 40 avoid and dodge? Yeah. I mean, let's see. Um, wait, isn't this A rank? Yeah. So when Alfred yes. promotes, he can use it. Mm -hmm. I'll be here. Because he'll get A rank and lances. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, yeah, we have the order meal. Yeah. Okay. We can let's go to the well. I mean, I don't think there's that much I can actually put into it because I don't have a lot of good stuff yet. Oh wait, what? Oh, okay. Divine One, we have been getting reports lately of a strange presence coming from this well. I have not been able to find anything unusual about it, but perhaps you should investigate. The fellas, you know, like, yeah, I'm not going to do it on camera. I'm going to do it on my own time, and I'll do it. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, I'll, we'll obviously rate the units. But, yeah, we're not going to be doing the fellas. I can't time. wait. <laughs> yeah, can't wait to rate Gregory. Hey, I mm -hmm. guess I can put, like, basic stuff in here. Next, yeah, there's not a lot I can't put into it though. Uh, iron button, surge, and I guess. <laughs> put the boots in there. Oh my god. Oh wow, that actually gives us three stars. Um, I guess sailing slim sword, will that give me three stars? Oh yeah, that will. Mm. Okay. There you go. All right, and also we have to go to the Lookout Ridge because we're about to get another emblem ring. I mean, yes. bracelet. My bad. Oh yeah, that means we're going to be reviewing two, actually. Divine One, we discovered this mysterious bracelet in Southern Furine. There appear to be more of them enshrined on the islands off the coast. Oh, we should investigate. God. <laughs> There's an emblem inside this bracelet, all right. The presence inside is complicated. Yeah, but you don't need I to tell I me. Have the invocation. Lead us, emblem of rivals. I would not think that would be a good invocation. Oh wait, this music, I love it. <laughs> oh, that guitar rip! I love that. I love it. Finally, we're free. I am Emblem Edelgard. Pleased to meet you. I am Emblem Dimitri. Uh, I guess that makes me Emblem Claude. Hi there. That must have been a crowded bracelet. Oh, sorry, I should introduce myself. I'm the Divine Dragon. You're obviously not from Elios. May I ask what you're doing here? Until recently, we were the guardians of another world. It seems we were moved somehow. Okay, I gotta say, what the hell is up with Edelgard's forehead? Like, look at how big that thing is. I know, bro. Her forehead always been big. Like, it's... she's always had a five head, but they gave her a six head in this God game. God damn, you stole my joke. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, back tall. Sort of <laughs> no need for that. You were able to summon us. That is enough. 
And your timing is excellent. I feel like Dimitri and Edogard look the same, but there's something about Claude that looks a little bit different. Speak for yeah, yourself. Claude looks a little different. I thought Dimitri's stories were getting better with every His eyes telling. are like more downturned. Yes, yeah, sarcastic interruptions kept increasing I too. thought Dimitri looks really good though. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Oh, yeah, like he looks like really even better, really if not the same. What's the thing? Appearances can be deceiving. Edelgard's forehead really doesn't look Edelgard. as bad from the She's front, kidding. but from the you side, oh my god, it's so obvious. <laughs> we have always been in competition. It will be refreshing to join forces. I should explain. We were all students at the officers' academy. So this is obviously but before she started the different war. houses. That's yeah. a by competition. This is yes. before the t she we started the war, but after the battle of the Eagle. Like the Battle of the Eagle and Mine. A traditional mock battle between the houses to celebrate one another's strengths. The real celebration was afterward. Our festivities got rather exuberant. There is a special conversation if you have Byla thumb here. Though. Dimitri looks pretty straight laced, but don't oh, really? fool you. Yeah. Oh. But why would you wait between that you long to me, get this price? Yeah, that would be a long time to wait. And yeah. party. I'm surprised. Oh, he's a force of destruction in general. For yeah. shenanigans. <laughs> I have been <laughs> so looking forward to reigning this ring. You only just met him, so you crazy. can't tell if he's joking. I have complicated feelings just about this ring as well. Oh, I love this. Come on, be fair. At least a third of what I say is worth hearing. <laughs> you do know a third <laughs> is less than half, right? Let me say it formally. Our power is at your disposal. Please make the most of it. Victory will be ours. Have no fear. We are here to help. And if these two and their conventional tactics fail, maybe I'll show you a few tricks. That's all very reassuring. Thank you. Oh. I'll do my best to help the three of you work yes. together. Yes! Hell yeah! Alright, Divine Paralyze. We're obviously going to do the Divine Paralyze. We're going to do, um, um... Once we get Diamond and all Chris Rachi do go into the the TD mm -hmm. paralog. We're not doing it yet because we need a good bow user and we need a, we need Rory. So yeah, I guess we can um uh let's uh just cook something real quickly and then we can um uh, we're gonna be doing um uh, all Chris's uh chapter next. Sounds good. I usually like to hold off on the Anna paralog until I get both all Chris and Diamond. Yeah, know, I do too. We go from Anna to you know doing the divine paralog. Decided to stop by, huh? All right, so let's see. Um, wait, oh, do I have any supports built up? Because that would actually be a good. Um, oh yeah, I do. Um, nothing with sailing yet. Um, oh, Louis and John. Okay. Um, all right. If that's the case, I might as well get something with um. Decided. All right, I'll cook something for Bander and Fran then. No, not sailing. Uh. Ooh, all right, so... Straight, mm. I guess I'll cook the potato soup. Might as Why well do I feel like Alfred cannot routine. cook? Huh? Ah. Whew, I think it's going well. Oh, look how good it turned out. Why, this is quite nice. Hmm. Uh, we got a light version. We need to get like a love version. Hey, extra two red. Oh, oh wow! If male gain one strength, okay. Something to snack on between sessions. Like if you can get um Gold Mary or Bunei as a chef, oh my god. Mhm. Mm They're really good at cooking. All right, so we can go into the ring chamber. We can end this off by um talking about the um Edelgard bracelet and the Makaya ring. So which one do you want to do first, actually? Um, let's do the bracelet. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. I actually thought you wanted to do the Makai ring first. Nah, I like... I don't know. Change it up, you know? Yeah. Alright, so I need to pull my notes for this, actually. Let's see... Edelgard... I really need to organize this. There we go. All right, so yeah, the Edelgard bracelets. Um, we can start off with the skill inheritance. So all the bracelets, um, you don't need to worry about um, getting them to doing a paralog to get them to level 10. All those skills will come with you at level 20. Um, Edelgard's, um, uh, she had, so yeah, this is basically what Edelgard, Khan, Dimitri are. Um, they, you, 
So first up we have is the Assembly Gambit. The thing is though, this is a gambit that you can only use if you don't have the Edelgard Bracer equipped. If you have it equipped, you won't be able to use this. And basically what this is, is that it's basically um, drag back from uh, heroes. That's basically what the assembly mm -hmm. gambit is. Um, and let me see here in terms of skill and here does anything else. Um, yeah. Um, Edelgard, um, they give, um, Strength and Dex plus one, and it goes all the way up to five, which, oh my god, that is, that is very expensive. <laughs> 8400, that's ridiculous. Lineage is pretty good. I mean, it's basically the same skill that they had when their personal skill from, um, uh, mm -hmm. here, from, uh, Three Houses. Bogard, I, I have, the, the guard skills are just garbage in my opinion. <laughs> like, they're cheap, yeah. but, like, they do not warrant wasting a skill slot, though. Um, the weapon sync skills are pretty good in my opinion. Like, um, if you have an emblem, um, uh, you know, used with a, uh, like, this is inheritable. So if you, let's say you have, like, Lin equips and, um, you have, like, a bow user, that's an extra five damage that you'll be able to use mm -hmm. even if you're not engaged with Lin. And it's engaged, and the weapon bonus is always active even if you are engaged, even if it's with an emblem, like, regardless of the weapon type. So let's say you have Lucino equipped and you're using a bow user, you're, and you're engaged, you're going to do an extra five damage. And then the Weapon Sync Plus version is just 7 instead of 5. Honestly, I think the the regular version is worth it. The Plus version is very expensive. Mm -hmm. Skill Inheritance-wise, I find that it's a little bit lacking, though. Though, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say it's bad, but it's just not good. So, I guess I'm going to rate this emblem. The Weapon Sync skills are nice. Then it's just good for, you know, boosting with experience gains. Assembly Gambler is alright, but you have to not have the Animal Guard Bracer to use it. I think I'm just going to go down the middle with this one. Three out of five stars. Like, it's okay in terms of skill inheritance. Yeah, I really don't find myself inheriting a lot of skills from the Animal Guard Bracelet. Mm -hmm. um, I have never used Assembly Gambit <laughs> in this game. Um, lineage is nice. It's it's cheap. Um, Vogard, like you said, to me, it's useless. Um, strength, Dex plus five. Great in theory, poor in execution. 8,400 SP mm -hmm. for that. That's ridiculous. There's You're not easy, even going to get... It's like, easier I on normal get, and even easier uh -huh. now that we have the wall. But so it is not worth it. But yeah, it's like if I don't have SP conversion and the books, you don't get 8,400 SP over the course of the game. Mm -hmm. Like you just, you just don't. Like, <laughs> like if you have an, 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 a um, ring equipped, like an emblem ring equipped, you need to get 84 levels just to get that. Yeah, ridiculous. Like seriously, look at Roxy. Um, like she she started out at level one. She only has 699 SP. Mm -hmm. We can't. We are one point away from affording the the tier one version. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Yeah, lineage is good until you have the uh, Byleth bracelet or ring. Um, then he he has a slightly better version because he can um, boost the experience. The boost the experience the same amount, but he can do it for adjacent allies as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, lineage is nice for now. It's cheap, so you know why not. Um, and I just wish strength and dex was. If strength and strength dex plus five was less, the skills would be top tier from this bracelet. Because mm -hmm. I would slap strength dex plus five on, on all Chris on Diamond oh, and yeah. just call it a day. Right. Like this is this um, is perfect for Diamond and Alcris actually. I actually yeah, give it, this bracelet really to is. to Alcris actually. Yeah, yeah, it's really good for them, because um, Alcris needs the strength and Diamond needs the Dex, and then why and not the have both? Both it gives too. It gives strength, Dex, and defense. Mm -hmm. Like that's everything yeah, the two of them really need. Really nice. Yeah. No, really. Like. But yeah. Um, if. Strength index was less, it would be like four, five. Um, but since it's not realistically achievable in a maddening playthrough, I'm gonna give this a two out of five. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Like, um, it's yeah. weird because, um, Krom gives them um, speed and dex, I think, and his is like mm -hmm. 4800 actually. Yep, like the max if they version. give strength or magic, it costs exponentially more. Oh, yeah, like Roy. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so I guess and now, Celica. So let's take a look at the engaged weapons. Um, so mm -hmm. we can actually do this from here. So yeah, you're right. Okay. 
So, um, yeah, so Edelgard comes with the Amir, which I have to say, though, the Smash weapons, I have a very hard time using them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because the thing is, though, that you're getting the Reverse Vanish and you can't follow up with them. If there was a way to remove that penalty, then sure, but there isn't. And the thing is, though, Smash weapons are also inaccurate, especially the Axe version. Like, look at this. Like, yes, the Might's good and the weight isn't that heavy. And the 20 crit, too. But it has 60 hit, like really. That's mm -hmm. you need someone with a lot of decks or someone who's very accurate, like to actually realistically hit with this. Mm -hmm. Next up is the Arid Bar, which this is really good. Like seriously, like if you yeah. combo this up with um uh, their combat arts too, this thing it's basically gives triple effectiveness actually. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Good mites, it's lightweight, it's lighter than the Emir, and the hit rate's good too, a little bit less crits. Mm -hmm. The only thing that it doesn't have over the Felna and the Emir is that it's not effective against anything, which is weird because mm -hmm. in the base game it was effective against dragons, but here it's not. Yeah, yeah, I don't really get that. Mm -hmm. Like, I, they really do not want you to have effectiveness against the worms, which... Nope, not, not even gonna talk about that yet. Not gonna talk yep. about that yet. And next up we have is the Fail Knot, which this is actually one of my best favorite weapons actually, because it's a mm -hmm. longbow that's 2 to 3, it has it's effectiveness against dragons and flying, it has the same might as the Herod Bar, has the least might of the weapons, but that is not um, anything to scoff at, like it has 13 might, 75 hit, and 20 mm -hmm. crits, like there's no way you're going to get a longbow that way without forging it and obviously engraving. Oh, absolutely not. And this is a really and good weapon. And the combat art? combat art with it that is the one that i used the most by mm -hmm. far oh yeah like oh, if i use a combat art like let's actually talk about that now so mm -hmm. obviously i think i'm gonna like i don't think there's anyone else we should give this one to because right now we're already um like oh uh what's the rating for the weapons i was actually oh yeah you're right so the rating i think mm -hmm. the air mirror definitely drops it down peg but the air bar yes yeah. and the fail knots with the bonuses and how what they do I think I'm going to rate it 4 out of 5 stars. Yep, I agree. I would also give it 4 out of 5 for the exact same reasons mm -hmm. that you said. Yeah, if a mirror was a little bit better, then maybe I would give it a 5, but... Mm -hmm. mm. So, I'm actually going to put this to Roxy because she doesn't have a, a emblem ring yet. And, I mean, I don't think that... Unless mm -hmm. you have, like, a better candidate for it, considering our team. Uh, no, not yet. Alright. Like, obviously, I'm going to give this to uh, all Chris when he appears, but for now, we mm -hmm. can give it to Roxy. And plus, I do believe you can get Lineage before level 5. Yeah, you can get level 3. I'm not going to, like, you know, use Bond Franks to level it up yet. So, um, we, so yeah, um, actually, we need to, t this is a very complicated because, so here's how, um, Friendly Rivalry works. I do believe, um, Friendly Rivalry, what it does is that at the start of the player phase, um, the Edelgar, the emblem will randomly switch to Edelgard, Claude, or Dimitri. The thing is, though, that it always starts off at Edelgard at the beginning of the map, so it's actually lying to you. So once you start the map, actually, it will switch. So you don't need to worry about that. And it's always random. Like, there's no, like, percentage chance who you're going to get. Okay? So if you're thinking that you can actually, like, play around this, don't. It's always random. Yeah, no, it's random, mm -hmm. random. It went, but when you're engaged, though, the character will always stick around. So obviously, whenever you're engaged, you want to make sure that Dimitri or Claude are equipped for reasons we're about to get into. Mm -hmm. So now I'm actually going to go to the bond effects because, yeah. So Flame Gambit is Edelgard's Gambit. Um, it, this basically is, is similar to her Gambits or like her exclusive Gambit from uh, Three Houses with her battalion. Um, I do like the reference of it, though. The problem is that I have is that this um can kind of hurt me in situations because it because the flames lower mm -hmm. movements, and also when the enemy like goes obviously it does ten damage to the enemies around it and it doesn't in a three by three radius I believe it does, if I remember correctly. Uh, two or three. It's either a two by three or three by three, but it's still pretty good and it does ten damage to the enemies. But the thing is though, I just don't find that it helps me in any way. I find it hurts me if anything. Next. Yeah, um, oh. I just don't like that it also sets your space on fire. So then next turn comes around, you take ten damage. Yeah, I'm not about that. Um, if you, unless you're using it from two, two to three range though. Mm -hmm. But if you're using this at one range, then yeah, it will obviously damage you. 
Yeah. Um, next up is Dimitri's Gambit, which this is a really good Gambit. Oh, I love Shield Gambit. So what Shield Gambit does is that it negate it sets the damage that you would take it from the first attacks of ranged enemies targeting you in the next enemy phase to zero. So you're gonna take zero damage. Now what's so good is that if you're taking if you dodge the attack, then the Shield Gambit is still active. And the thing is though that the Shield Gambit will it's not like um what like Claws Fallen Star, which we'll get into that in just a sec. It will always block, if there are like a ton of range enemies attacking you, it's always going to block the first hit that's going to hit you. So, it's really good at tanking like, you know, two mm -hmm. range enemies or three range enemies. It's always going to, like, I can't get over how good this is. And yeah, it's really good. Next up is Claude's Gamma, which is Poison Gamma. What this does is that it basically, you can use this from a range and any enemies that you um, hit with this, is that it's not going to only poison the target, it also poison the uh, enemies adjacent to that target. And what's so good is that this you can combo this up with a dagger. So you, if, so if you hit the enemy, you're going to boost the, you're gonna have them poisoned by times two. And what's so good is that even if you hit or do zero damage to the, or even if you miss or hit or um do zero damage to the target, you're still gonna poison them and their enemies around them. So yeah, the mm -hmm. three house lords games are pretty good. If I actually had to rate what I think they are. I think Demetrius is the best, followed by Claws and yep. then Edelgard's. Yep, I agree. And now we have to, but though that's just their um, like skills that they can use. Now we have to get into their their uh, engaged skills. So first up is their combat arts, and we can't see them here, but basically what their combat arts is like, um, Edel, they're just like the combat arts from um, uh, Three houses. Um, Edelgard's does Raging Storm, so if you basically get Gale Force. The thing is though that it spends three turns to do, so at base you're going to, if you use it, you're not going to be able to use um, any of the other engaged skills. Dimitri and Claude's only use one turn. Um, Dimitri's basically adds 50% might to the air bar, so you're basically going to get triple effectiveness with the air bar when you use the combat art. And Claude's Fallen Star lets you dodge the first attack. The problem that I have with Claude's though is that in, during the enemy phase, if none of the enemies go for you, you're just gonna waste the Fallen Star though. Mm -hmm. It's not like in, in in three houses though, it was active all the time, but here it's not active during, it's not active like the entire time. And the thing is though, right. that if you attack again, you lose the Fallen Star effects. So yeah, I don't I see. Even if like the even if the enemy's not like counteract counterattacking you, you still lose the effect. So and let me see. For dragons, they do an extra ten percent damage, and with cohorts, they get an extra twenty percent point. That's all that combat arts do. So yeah. Uh, next up is the houses unite. Now this is very interesting. So. There is actually a, so this is the base version where you attack with the enemies at all at 50% damage, but with dragons it's 10%, with cavalry it's 10% with the arrow bar, with cover it's 10% with the Thalmina, armored it's 10% with the mirror, and Kiadev's break the foe. So that's really mm -hmm. good actually. Now here's the thing though, there's actually a, another version, it's called House Unite Plus, that if you're adjacent to someone with Byleth, then not only does this effect still apply, you get a unique animation too, and you're also able to gain another action after the combats. So this can be really crazy if you, if you stack this up with actually with the canter or something like that. So, yeah, um, 5 out of 5 stars? <laughs> For engage skills, I think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, um... I think I'll say four. Actually, you out know of five? What? Um, actually, I'm gonna retract my rank because I'm actually I am going to lower to lower it to four. With the House of mm -hmm. United Plus, I will bump it up to five though. Hmm. Yeah. See, I like the combat arts, but I wish that instead of like you know like spending turns that it would be like oh this is the like that it would just correspond to the um like that it would still randomly choose who you're uh engaged with like you know the bracelet randomly chooses who you're synced to yeah i would rather instead of spending turns you could choose have your the choice 
I would rather have it like lot like say you have Dimitri right then yeah you can only choose atrocity oh okay but it doesn't cost any turns yeah but the thing is I though, would rather you would, have that yeah but the thing is though I think that would be a cool concept but you know that everyone would just pick Enogar and just always spam Raging Storm oh that's true yeah I forgot about Raging Storm yeah which I mean and also as far as combat arts go I do think um this is a really hard one. I don't think I like Edel Guards all that much. Like, Raging Storm is very nerfed in this game because of how, like, the low mm -hmm. movement is. And considering and how, isn't good. how hard it is to, like, plan around it. I think I would think... I think Claws is actually the best. And yeah, Air Guards the seconds. With yep, the, with the common arts. But yeah, four out of five for me. Mm -hmm. Four out of five for me um, with both of them. After House of the United Plus, though, I have to give it a five, though. Do you, like, bump your rating mm -hmm. up after House of the United Plus, or do you still keep it with four? Um. Hmm. Yeah, um, it's hard to say. Because, like, yeah, I would say that if you take House's Unite Plus into account, then it would be five out of five. Okay. And now we have to talk about the um, uh, Micaiah ring. So let's uh, give this to Fran because she's going to be the one we give it to. Lady Micaiah! Of course! Oh my god, I just love Micaiah's voice. Lady Micaiah! Mm -hmm. Here I go! I love her, I can do this. Lady Micaiah! I can do this! There we go. Okay, so. I love that. Yeah. Like, she looks so, like, elegant, too. Even though, like, you know, Makai's, like, mm -hmm. not the person I would think to be elegant, considering who she is. <laughs> yeah, like, so many people were, like, going, like, oh, when they got Makai. Trust me, bro, this is the best emblem ring you could get in terms of utility. I think mm -hmm. that, I, it's hard to know if which is better for support. This or, no, actually, you know, I think Bilas is better in terms of support. This is, like, a close second, though. So, yeah, Makai... Oh, see, I love Makai's ring. Yeah, so Micaiah's um, uh, skill inheritance, as you can see, is pretty low, and even after you do a parallel, it's, like, not that a lot. There's not a lot to say, because her skill inheritance is, is, like, the lowest of any of the emblem rings. Like, it doesn't even, like, like, compared to, like, this one, where, like, it, like, it can go, it can, skills can actually go farther than this. Hers is, like, the size of, like, a third grader, like, paragraph, and then, like, when you compare it <laughs> to, like, after the parallel, it's, like, a sixth grader's. Um, so yeah, Edelgard comes with, like, you can inherit the resistance skills, which, again, I don't think they're that good. Like, they cost so little. Like, you give the defensive skills and skills like this so little cost, but when you look at Selkas, it's like, where's the economy? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, seriously, 300 for resistance plus 2 and 500 for resistance plus 3. Like, nice, but still, why? Um, yeah. The Sad Master skills, though, I do think are much better. So. Obviously, now you may be thinking, why would I want plus 10 hit when using a stat? The thing is, though, these work with status saves. So, saves like Entrap, Fracture, Silence, um, yeah, those type of stats, this applies to them, actually. And I would think that would just be enough, but it also, they also increase the HP you can heal with saves, which I do like. Like, it is so nice to see later on Fram topping off people mm -hmm. with just heal stabs <laughs> or treats. <laughs> I staff. love the staff mastery skills because mm -hmm. I, I feel like I feel like in this game that the heal saves and the men save just I don't know why but I just feel like they don't hit as much they I feel like there's much? I always think they're gonna heal more than they do yeah it's weird because I'm um, always so used to like the tell you series where like they heal like a lot but no they don't mm -hmm. but Staff Mastery, I just love because that extra hit with um, status saves. Hey, look at this. It's but tier mostly two. It's for 15. me, it's right. But mostly for me, it's the the heal bonus, and they're super cheap. Yeah. So like, like if you have someone that's going to be a dedicated healer, even if like like this is what I did with Pandreo, I made him a sage. Yes, as you do. But then I gave him Staff Mastery because in my brain, Pandreo is still a healer, and what do you know? He could heal everyone up to full. Oh yeah! Like it was insane. 
Like, the tier 5 version of this, if the hit goes up to 30, you can heal for mm -hmm. an additional 15, and it only costs a thousand. I know. It's, like, Fram's already have really to good. That, and we're not even, like, we just got Makaya. Like, obviously, you have to do a parallel to get, but still, it's worth it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, and Healing Light is awesome, too. Yeah, Healing Light, it's basically lift to serve, but it's 50% instead of, like, you know, the full. But still, it's pretty good. Like, 200 SP. It's amazing for key adapts, too. Mm -hmm. And Silence Ward is just, like, grants immunity to Silence, which I think this is actually, like, it's okay, mm -hmm. but I think that Headlong Rush is better, though. Because there is, because there, there, you oh, see, I like, I like Silence Ward. I would like it more if we faced more enemies with Silence. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, you do face enemies with Silence, but later on in the late game, you, or even, like, during the game, you face more free stabs than Silence. Mm-hmm. So that's why I prefer having yeah, a lot of free stabs. Yeah, oh my god. The Gris and Zephyr, like, final, like, have you faced them? Yeah, that one. Oh Ugh. god. So, yeah, in terms of skill inheritance, um, I'd have to give her mm, four to five stars because even, don't get me wrong, Stab Master is good, Healing Light is good, Sealing Spartan is good, but her skill inheritance is very limited in terms of mm -hmm. what you can get from her. It is cheap, so yeah, I have to do, also do, like, give that or that. If she came with Cleric, though, as an inheritable skill, I'd obviously give, give her five, but because she can't mm -hmm. inherit that, for obvious reasons, I have to give her four. Like, limited yeah. skill inheritance that's busted. Like, that's... I, yeah, I will also give her a four. Um, yeah, her skills are pretty one and done, mm -hmm. except for Staff Mastery and Resistance. Um... And they're cheap, so why not, you know? Yeah, like, all her skills are cheap. Like, the most expensive is Resistance plus 5 at 2,000. Even and I think it's cheap. probably because if you're going to stick her on a healer who's mostly healing, they're not going to be defeating enemies and getting that SP. Uh, I, I've had some years, like, you know, kill with, like... Oh, yeah, I still that. have them get insane SP, mm -hmm. but it's not as quite as much oh, yeah. as getting a kill. And plus, early game, she's so good for, like, leveling yes. up your characters. So, um, now we have to go over engage weapons, which first up is the Shine, which I also, I thought was a little bit weird. I just suspect she has light. But this is a very unique tome. Like, the stats, mm -hmm. I feel like, are pretty good. Like, right here. Like, 10 crit mm -hmm. 2. Plus, it's only waste 5. And it actually has, like, an Illume status built into it. Though, I find that this is, like, pretty, like, boring. Because I don't usually use Shine. Like for the mm -hmm. for the illuminate effect, I usually shine. You shine for like killing, and I just dropped my controller. I'm sorry about that. The oh, moon. I think it's interesting that it lights up an area. Like that's oh, yeah. pretty cool that a weapon cool. does that. You I know? just don't do that. But... I just never use it because there's not a lot of fog of war. <laughs> yeah, like you like in the time when you do use it, it's like it's one chapter after you like that when you get her back. That's the only mm -hmm. like when you face Gris. That's the only chapter where Fire yeah. Force is gonna be useful. There's no other yeah, like, no, there's literally. no other instance where you face Fog of War because the Paralyzed don't give you Fog of War. Nope. Yeah. So, yeah. Good tome, but the effect is pretty minuscule. Wait, do all these tomes? Well, wow, all her tomes look the same actually. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought that was a thing. Yeah, they all look the same. Alright, and Nosferatu, it's not like Nosferatu from the past games, it's Nosferatu from Awakening Onward, where basically, this is actually a pretty good version. It's not like the um, um, Three Houses version of Nosferatu, this is actually useful, it doesn't weigh a ton. The stats are pretty good, you can also make it better. Like, these are the exact same stats I think the Awakening version has. So... I'm not sure. Um, the hit's pretty good. Might's also pretty good. Weight's alright. Like, 7 weight, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. It weighs less than, or, I think it... No, actually, okay. Oh, you know what? They look different. Uh, the engrave on the front looks different, but... That's the only difference in their appearance. Uh, I actually can't tell It'll difference. show once it flips back around. Oh, okay. I can't tell the difference, Yeah, it's though. hard to see. Oh, yeah, you're right. Actually, the front yeah. looks different, but the anything else, like, that's... Yeah, everything else is the same. Um, I do like Nosferatu, though. Like, it's definitely... Like, it's hard to Nosferatu tank in this game, but it is viable, though. Like, mm -hmm. it is viable. Like, I've had Pandreo and, like, Saline Nos, Nos tank pretty respectively. Like, mm -hmm. if they... But it's, again, it's kind of hard to Nos tank in this game, considering that, you know, 
this is an engage weapon that you can only use when you're engaged with Micaiah, so it's kind of hard to use this. So though, it's a pretty good tome. I'm not going to say anything bad about it. And finally, her greatest weapon of all time, the Thani. I love Thani. So yeah, Thani, it still has 100 hits. It's, um, I do believe its weight it might have been increased though. I think so. Like, let me The just... weight has definitely been increased. Oh yeah, like it weighs it one in talents. Like, let me just, I just want to take a look, quick look at this, like... Let me see. Um, yeah, it weighed. It actually had eight mites, so the mites been increased though. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's to obviously to compensate for the double effect in this. Yeah. A and yeah, it weighed one. But here, it's effective against. It's basically a rapier in an armor slayer, or it's just a rapier in tome form. It's just like how it was in um, uh, Radiant Dawn. So yeah. Um, I think Nosferatu and Thani are pretty good. Shine is okay, but, you know, the deal in fact is pretty much a dud. Mm. But still, even late game, like, Thani is busted as hell because... It's the, good. Like, the cavalry and armor used in this game have, like, no resistance later on, even in this game, and they just melt like a hot knife through butter. And Nosferatu is pretty good for, you know, peeling up. Mm -hmm. um, five stars. Yeah, I have nothing bad to say about the ammo weapons here. Yeah, I will also give it five stars. Shine has good utility, even though it doesn't really have damage. Mm -hmm. um, well, as much damage. It still has damage. Mm -hmm. But they all have excellent hit. They all have some sort of effect to them. I don't really see how they couldn't be five out of five. Mm -hmm. Like, none of them is just damage, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, like, it's it's understandable why they're only, you can only use them in engaged form. Cause, right. I mean, that's Roger and, and, and Bonnie, obviously. Shine, well, you can just use this skill stuff. So now we have to go over the engage skills. So I'm just going to start off with this cleric. Um, you can't inherit this, though. When you have a unit equipped, they can use some staves. So, though, the thing is, though, I always equip this to a healer to begin with, though. Yeah, I usually do, too. Like, the only reason why I would think you would equip this to another unit is you use a mage knight. But yep. that's the yep. only instance I will see myself using this, because... It can yep. only go up to A. If it went up to S, for sure, I put this to like a different type of healer, but like Ivy, but it can only go up but to you, A. Yeah, I would pretty much if I'm not giving it to a like someone that can already use staves, it like nine times out of ten, it's probably going to a mage knight. But I don't have any mage knights ever, mm -hmm. so it's always going to a healer. I have heard Bale's a pretty good candidate for this, but. Because of her magic, but oh, doesn't... true! I forgot about her. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> I have, Either I... that, or I would give it to a mage who hasn't promoted yet. Mm -hmm. Like the only That's thing it. I think, like this isn't like actually we could give this to um, um Saline so she can start healing. Mm -hmm. But yep. I think that Fran makes better use of this because of their because yeah. of the um, great sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So um. Yeah, speaking of which, Augment is really good, like... <laughs> mm -hmm. So, Augment increases your staff range by 5, so this is like all staff, so your physic goes from 1 to 5 to 1 to 10, and the area effect increases by 1. This is busted with Obstruct, um, Freeze, mm -hmm. um, so any staff, it's really good, yep. Augment. Warp, Rescue, Rewarp, I'm A looking re at you, Lumeris really Chapter, Rewarp. Um, for dragons, the additional range is increased by one, so the staff range is actually six. And key adepts actually heal twenty percent, um, heal an extra twenty percent with staves, actually. So, so yeah, you can actually combo that up with um, um staff mastery. Yeah, and, or actually not just staff mastery, you can combo this up with um, a healing light, and that's seventy percent they're healing back. So it's almost yep. like they they almost have it left to surf right there. However, great sacrifice. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. So, yeah, Great Sacrifice used to restore full HP to all allies, even those not under the player's control. After use, US HP is reduced to 1. So, yeah, it's just like how it was in Ring of Dawn, except here it's even better because it covers the whole map. Mm -hmm. The whole map. I just cannot get over that. So, with Dragons, your HP doesn't drop to 1, it actually drops to 30% of your current HP. So, Let's say you're at 30 HP, it drops down to uh, like 10 or so. Still, I mean, it's, 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 it's it insane. Makes you, yeah, 
It's really good. Um, hit ups, they hear the status effects. So basically, they can heal poison, they can heal um, freeze, silence. They mm -hmm. just get rid of any negative status effects that you have on the UN. And armored, I have to go to Louie because I cannot believe that this is like, this is just so bad. Like, I, like, don't even give this. Like, look at this. This is so bad. Grants one oh defense to all heal during their combats. Like, I don't know why in the hell you would give it to an armored unit, but in the first even if you place, do that, it's awful. Like, one defense. Like, you can't, like, what? Like, if you, like, if this was flying, like, I think if this was flying, they would obviously, like, grant one deep, one res, but, like, still, it is, and here's the thing, though, it only gives to those who have been healed, though. It doesn't even give to, to all the, your mm. units, so, if they didn't get healed, they're not gonna get the effect. I have actually checked, tested this out. It doesn't work that way. So yeah, um, even with the, with, so yeah, give this to obviously like either a dragon or a mystical or a healer. The bonuses she gives is too good too, like magic, yep. res, and luck. Everything that Makai was known for in Radiant Dawn. Exactly. And this is actually like the best incarnation of Makai that if you play Radiant Dawn, you got screwed with her. This is the best incarnation you're going to get of her. Oh wait, oh god. Uh, dang, oh my god, wait, did the, oh wait. Uh, hold up, I have to get Crystal back in the call. Here. Oh, you're here? Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you still Yeah, hear okay, me? there we go. Yeah, sorry about that. No. Yeah, I can still hear you and stuff. Okay. Technical so, difficulties. Yes. Oh, God. Gotta love them. So, um, I mean, I had to you know, do these when I first uh, played this, um, uh, when I first uh, did this parallel, but, or was talking about Makaya, but they got re resolved pretty quickly. Um, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> engage skills, five out of five stars. Like. <laughs> yeah, no, I. 100,000% agree. Five out of five stars. Like, oh if my. If you have a healer, it does not get better than this. Like, seriously, I think I'm actually going, like, you're going to see how good Fran can be, or just like how mm -hmm. anyone can be with a with an obstruct step at the stage. It's crazy. Like, seriously, like, I I have nothing bad to say about this ring. Like, the like the only thing bad about it is the skill inheritance, but even the, even the skill inheritance is Even then, good. it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, this is, I think, our most highest like, rated ring yet. You just have to understand it's a support ring. Mm -hmm. And it does everything you want from a support ring. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Do I not? Oh, wait, actually, we have to go to the Amiibo Gazebo because now we can get Makaya's outfit. All right. Do you want to equip that? Yeah. Okay. Why not? It looks good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I think this is actually my favorite outfit, like, for Makaya. Or, like, yeah, for I any like, of the it suits. Yeah, it suits Alir because mm -hmm. the reds and blues. Yeah, like she looks like if it wasn't for the hair, I think she would be like Makaya's little sister, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seriously, Makaya having a sister, Jesus, the scariest thought I've had all day. Let's see, scan. And... I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. <laughs> I'm not actually. Makaya has a sister. Oh wait, you're right. Sonic, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to remember something like that though. I know. It's understandable. Also, actually, should we I you know, I'm actually gonna buy this now. Sigurd style for yep. Yeah. But I'm not gonna give it to Alfred. I'm gonna you're, I'm gonna give this to someone else. Oh wait, I have to scan another amiibo then. Oh yeah, if you're wondering about the songs, here are the songs that we actually get. I kind of wish we got the like remake like the originals though. Mm. Like Mills Divine Protection from Shadows of Valentia. Yeah, that would be cool. God, I haven't heard this in a week, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and Echoes of Daybreak, which I thought was a weird I, song for them to use. Yeah, I wish we got Bearer of Hope instead. Because, mm -hmm. like, come on, you're gonna put, you're gonna give us the remix version of that song, but you're not gonna give us the exactly. original of it. And Bearer of Hope slaps too. Mm -hmm. Like, it's one of the best songs in. Tellius games. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's actually. I mean, I don't think if I do a. You know what? Just in case. 
there. In case the skirmish <laughs> pops up, I do them off camera. All right, so let's go and get that uh, Celica stuff. Or Micaiah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I love that. I have to say, though, like, I actually kind of, there are times when I actually miss the Byleth, like, um, uh, style. Mm -hmm. uh, the Byleth outfit, because it actually looks pretty good here. Like, in Three Houses, obviously, I, doesn't, I don't miss it that much, because Welcome. if you don't have DLC, you wear it for basically the entirety of the game. Yeah, time. that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, She's yeah. so cute! And we can actually get this to no, not Vander. Um, we can get this to how does the sailing look actually with it? Uh, not bad. I like the scarf. And wow, mm -hmm. she actually looks not that she much. She looks different. great in the Celica style. She doesn't look that much different. I mean, a little bit different, but it's kind of hard to tell the difference. I wish you could put citrine in Celica style. Citrine. Oh yeah, I wish you could like. But the thing is, though, the outfits well. are only for the lords. It's kind of stupid. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, but citrine yeah. literally like. Her fashion sense is the same as Celica's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh my god, I love this outfit. This is like my favorite like female outfit to wear. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. Like seriously, she actually looks like, look, she's actually wearing like pants and actually looks like she's mm -hmm. wearing an actual normal outfit. Alright, so I think now, um, obviously I'm just going to go to the overall map. Um, so that way we can actually like unlock this stuff. So next time, so we are now caught up with all the rings now, which thank God. Awesome. So now all this, so next time we're going to be doing the Alchris, um chapter, which I'm very much looking forward to hearing your opinions on Citrine Lapis. Mm -hmm. And yes, we do have access to the Divine Parallels. We're going to do them once we get Diamond and uh, Alchris. And we're going to do a few of them. We're not going to do all of them at once because mm -hmm. otherwise we're going to overload real quickly. So yeah, oh my god, I'm so excited to finally get the man, the myth, the legend. The legend, yeah! Oh my god. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to do like a bunch of like stuff like off camera. But until next time, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until next time, bye now.